amazing beautiful people welcome back to another re zero reaction video oh my word i think we're all in agreement right this is one of the greatest freaking seasons of anime we've had all year this has been amazing so far and we've only had four freaking episodes granted the first episode was a damn movie but still that's not much anime to go by and it is cooking so far Season 3 of ReZero has the potential to be the greatest season of ReZero so far, if it continues this momentum. So, let's see if it does. Press that like button, press that subscribe button, do that right now. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this video and you hear this, I put a curse on you, your winky will fall off in 10 days unless you press that subscribe button. If you don't have a winky, you'll grow one in 10 days unless you press that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'm Blood Reactions on Patreon, let's jump into my first time of reaction to ReZero Season 3, Episode 5. <laughs> Emilia, you don't need to ask uh, answer this question. Wait, at least he apologized. Clearly a gentleman. Did bro just make up his own move? <laughs> <clears throat> Ahem. His move is to uh, say something outrageous, then immediately apologize for saying something outrageous, and then, well, uh, you know, I think you should go jump off that bridge. Ah, uh, jump up, up, maybe don't jump off that bridge. I apologize. I shouldn't have said that. You see, I'm not like these other buffoons who can't admit when they were wrong. I'm better. I don't know if that's genius or he's fucking insane. Maybe, maybe a bit of both. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Amelia really is very nice. Amelia is very naive, we know this, okay? But she's not stupid. She's not dumb. There's no way she is completely chill with the situation. Obviously, she doesn't even know who this guy is. So, I mean, maybe she would. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she doesn't know what Virgin is. She doesn't know him. You know, so is this how she would react? Like, maybe. I don't know. It's a weird scene, though. Let's be honest. It's very strange. The way he's talking everything like that. Um, I mean, Amelia is the same girl who thought she got pregnant kissing Subaru. So, But shouldn't she be questioning why she's naked and there's a random guy here? This should tell you everything you need to know about this man. The fact he doesn't even give him names, he just gives him numbers. And I don't know, it's weird how Amelia's a 79th, but she's 184. I don't understand what that means. I'm very confused. I'm very confused of Amelia's reactions here. That sounds suspicious. Little King. That sounds like a character from Game of Thrones. I wonder if that is relevant at all when she said he reminds her of a king she read saw in a book once. I wonder if he is that king. I mean, how old is he? It seems very strange that she is just like, just, just content with this decision. I don't remember marrying him. How strange. Alright, well, never mind. I guess that's cool. 
Like, I understand. Also, by the way, um, for everyone like moaning at me in my last reaction when I didn't figure out that Gluttony, like the Archbishop of Gluttony or whatever was two people. No, I didn't figure that out at all. I didn't even realize there were two people. I had no idea. I, I could not figure out. I, I did not put together the two dots with the names being different. I, I, I could totally missed it. I'm an idiot. As you can see, I'm not like these other reactors who can't admit when they are wrong. I am clearly better than all of them, and thus deserve way more subscribers. That's right, that's right. Because I can own up to my mistakes and apologize. <clears throat> what do you mean I'm copying someone? You're crazy. I would never copy any any evil kings from anywhere. Yeah, gluttony, yeah. Little girl user. Although we didn't, the, two people, not sure, but Gluttony definitely refer, like there's two different versions or something. Is it Gluttony I'm thinking of with the two different names or am I thinking of someone else? <laughs> Man, Subaru! What's happened to Subaru? Subaru, my guy. I'm very proud of Subaru. This seems weird. The dragon almost didn't attack. Maybe the dragon was already just severely injured and couldn't, and that's why it was here. Maybe it was just hiding, trying to recover. Um, also, I just wanted to pause just to say, Subaru, I have been so impressed with him so far this season. Subaru has done exceptionally well. You can tell the training's paid off. He's 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 pretty badass these days. Ha! She'll keep an eye on it. Ha ha ha! Funny. I see what she did there. I got a bad feeling about this. What the fuck is going on in here? Two things I want to point out. First, Subaru! My god, Subaru! Are you kidding me? What has happened to him? Bro! Actually hit oh man, man I, I could cuddle Subaru right now, I would. Second, I find it funny that the Archbishop of Lust, alright, so this is clearly the Archbishop of Lust, not the dragon. Or can they like transfer their soul into dragon? Or is it dragon and are they are they two are they two or they one? I don't know. I want to point out, but then the dragon wasn't doing anything. Maybe she can go inside the dragon. Maybe that's why the dragon wasn't doing anything. But I wanted to point out the fact that she said fine. 
He like said, remove your foot. And then she went, fine. And then he hit her. Kind of funny. Because she said fine was last word before she got hit by the rock. I like to imagine that she was she was like totally chill. She's like, yeah, I'll take my foot off. I didn't realize I was upsetting you. And uh, he just punched her in the face with his rock. But. Jesus. Jesus. She got a big old tail. Fucking scary. Is it weird that I both hate and love her? I'm noticing a, 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 a thing. All the Sin Archbishops that we've met, I both hate and love. They are incredibly well written and well thought out villains that you like, but you hate. You know what I mean? They're like very well done. They're a villain that you think is cool. They're a villain that's done well. They're an evil son of a bitch, but they're, but you, you know, and you hate them, but you love them. I don't know how to describe it more than that. It's strange. I, I kind of like that she's insane, crazy, and utterly terrifying. At the same time, I hate her and hope Subaru like whips off her head in a second or something. <laughs> Giant fly. I love that this is, uh, is it Ayo Yuki, uh, the famous voice actor who I absolutely love? This is her, isn't it? terrifying man I, I don't really get what she's saying is she saying is she justifying the idea of love by having split second thoughts of lust is that what she is that her crazy justification is that how she's crossing those bridges inside of her mind that if you look at someone and have any sort of inkling of lust it means you're in love with that person or is that her idea of lust love i mean maybe lust and love are just lost inside of her fucking head i mean that would make sense based on her name How did she know? How did she know? Can she read his mind a little bit? How did she know that he loved Amelia? How did she know all of this? She either knew it previously, found it out here somehow, even though he didn't mention Amelia's name, or can read his mind.
She's kind of, she's kind of crazy. Oh my god! She's holding his fucking leg! I really want to point out one thing, despite how absolutely messed up and, and, and insane this scene is. I really want to point out how incredibly well animated this season has been so far. Most particularly this scene. From the gore to the animation, the characters, like movements and everything has been incredibly well voice acted as it always is. This whole scene is utterly terrifying. And it's only terrifying because of how brilliant it's been done. So this swords person that the uh, the guy is fighting is a female swords person who is just as good with a sword as he is. Shouldn't that be worrying? And shouldn't that narrow it down? How many people can compete with him with a sword? He's one of the best, right, Wilhelm? Didn't this guy know something he shouldn't have? Surely this is a timeline where Subaru is gonna die, so this is information for us. Also, I do want to point out, uh, he immediately grabbed her. You can see him literally sheltering and covering her. That's a good, that's, that's a good thing. He's trying to protect her. Oh dear, we know that voice. Ah, oh, bollocks. An old Raph is here. God, the voice acting of the Sin Archbishops is, is just peak voice acting in anime. For a mummy, she's kind of bad. <laughs> mummy with a U. Hey!
I don't like this. I don't like this. I got bad feeling about this. The scary thing is now that Subaru is injured, these guys literally are wearing the fucking assassins outfits from Assassin's Creed. And now that Subaru is injured, like gravely injured, and what's happening to him... It basically means that every character we see at any point could just die now in like a horrible way. Whether or not this is going to be the timeline that is continued, we don't know now because of Subaru's injury. So everything has just been thrown up in the air because of that one scene, which has made everything so much more unnerving. Why do his men look so dodgy? Are they just hungry mercenaries type dudes? Protect the beautiful city of water. Okay. Song Meanwhile, Reinhardt. Is just, just, just here. It makes sense that they did this. This is what you call convenience in writing. Um, a lot of books, TV shows, movies all do this. We have a character that is so strong that them, their presence would like negate a lot of the story. Um, so a couple of things either happen. They're either nerfed, missing, uh, like got other jobs they can do for some reason can't be at situations it happens tons you know it happened in heroes happens in supernatural it happens in the boys happens in loads of famous tv shows um you have to do it it's a writing technique because for like for example uh this isn't a spoiler but in supernatural they become friends with a very strong being and that being is either always injured or cursed or like called away for something when they're in missions and situations that that being could just solve by snapping its fingers. And the reason for that is because that's a boring story, you know? And the same with Reinhardt here. If Reinhardt was part of all these situations, these stories, everything would be solved much easier, which means there needed to be something for him to solve, hence why he's here. <laughs> So weird looking bug. Also, could it be your thanks with Otto? Bugs intervening like that immediately makes me think Otto. And since we haven't seen anything of Otto, we, he was mentioned, so his, his memory hasn't been taken away. Is Otto okay? Was that the first thing we got of him? <laughs> My boy! Otto is back! Yes! <sighs> oh, man, I could smooch ya. <laughs> How'd he get away? What happened to Otto? What was this? What Are we gonna get a backstory explanation here? Come on, here we go. My guess is based on the white dragon scales. At first, I thought it was like a type of 
weapon he had or something like that. But now I'm reckoning it's those weird assassin dudes we saw. And I'm guessing they intervened and saved him. Does seem a bit suspicious. I'm going to be honest. It seems a little bit suspicious that he was able to get away. But if that's the explanation they're going with. I don't like that they didn't show it. That makes me sus. It just sounds too convenient. It either is too convenient or something nefarious is going on here. Yes. That's an order. Go on. Go save some people, dude. Go see if you can help whatever the hell happened to Subaru. Seems like felt is always in places just like this. Where did Otto go? Did Otto just go with Reinhardt? What are those random egg things? They're flooding the city? Interesting. All right, that dragon is someone. <laughs> is someone we know. Um, that would explain why when they first went in, the dragon wasn't fighting back. That isn't the same dragon. That dragon is, uh, is a person. Why was that dragon like? Or there's something going on there. That dragon is saving Subaru. Why? What's the deal with that dragon? Why did she want to stop the dragon? What's happening to Subaru? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know, man. Is Subaru dead? How is Subaru still alive, man? What's this? That's the end! No, man. After credits? After credits, right? There's not an after credits. Wait. Yes, there is. Okay, that's fine. Wait, I just realized, I don't know why I didn't put this together. She's calling him the husband. So, he has more than 79 wives. But then why did he call her his 79th? Is that more like a ranking thing rather than a number system? Very beautiful, yes. Home of Wisdom and the Artificial Spirit. More like a man-made spirit? <laughs> uh... 
Oh man, watching this episode when my nose is like completely blocked and I got a headache and oh my god, I just like come on. How do you un how do you like clear out your nose forever? <laughs> oh shit. Oh. oh man, there's so much going on. Everything's crazy. It's what well, I don't understand. I was convinced that things were about to reset. I was waiting for it. You know, she was like, ah, Subaru, you're about to die. I was waiting for a reset. What, what's gonna Subaru gonna turn into? You know, I was actually like, and I was just sitting here like, what is it, what's the reset gonna look like? Where are they going back to? Are we gonna miss out all of this? You know, all of this information. The thing is, you can always kind of get an idea of when a reset will or will not happen because of how much information or progression happens. <laughs> Would be what you would say if you're watching any other anime. But in Reezer, we've seen Subaru take a hundred steps forward, boom, and go all the way back. You know? So, at any point now, we could still go back to the start. That's what's so worrying. This anime is so hard to predict because of that caveat. You know? And, and it's the only anime where every single character could die. In a horrible way. At any moment. That's the other thing as well. Literally, no one is safe, including the main character. ReZero is the only anime that I... It's one of the only shows that has that effect. Most people are protected by plot armor. And in a sense, because of the resets, you could argue here. But that doesn't still negate the fact that so many people have died, can die, and will go through that pay, uh, pain. This is one of the most intense and difficult situations ever. With everything going off, with all the Sin Archbishop showing up, with all the people fighting on all these different fronts... Everything is stretched so thin. It is impossible to... to like. It looks like the good guys are just losing badly. And I don't see a way out of this. You know, now the city is starting to flood. They haven't... We haven't, they haven't had one win. Not one victory. It's been five episodes of just a beatdown. And it's been completely one-sided. I don't know how we get out of this. I don't know what happens. Subaru is now being washed away with the ocean. My guess is... Um, Garth saw that, maybe he'll try and intervene. Otto has wandered off with Reinhardt, I'm predicting, other than Otto just teleported off himself. Um, I do find it suspicious that they didn't show Otto escaping. Maybe they just simply didn't animate it, that could be the case. You know, Otto seems fine, he is controlling bugs, he did say, felt he's acting normal, so perhaps he is normal. Um, but I am suspicious. I will remain a tiny bit dubious, and I will say... Maybe there's something more going on there. Probably not, but maybe. I would say the most likely scenario is Otto did just get away and it just hasn't been animated and everything he said is truthful. Based on his actions, he seems quite normal. Um, but still a bit of suspiciousness. Oh, my word. The wedding with Amelia, freaking Subaru's leg, Krush Sama being taken away by a dragon that is now good. Uh, the Sin Archbishop of Lust is a weirdo, but, you know, we kind of like her. Oh my word, not much of as a weirdo as old white-haired, crazy, thousand wife guy. He is the ultimate weirdo. How people aren't all dead already. Everyone's literally fighting for their lives and the freaking limbs hanging off, blood hanging out. Oh my word, man. This anime is really kicking my butt. Whew. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait a week. We're going to have three more episodes of this. Three more! Crazy. How dare they do this to us? How is this going to wrap up in three episodes? My answer is probably not not in a way that we're going to be happy with. <laughs> I reckon it's going to break all our hearts because it's been doing that every episode of this season. Anyway, press the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Armblur reactions on Patreon. Check out GOTGamesClothing.com. Have a good time. Boogie, boogie out. I don't know what you say. Link in the description to all the goodies I just mentioned. And as always, my friends, you right there will see me next week and in the next video.